Hey guys, welcome back to Foundation. I have to say thank you so much to everyone that commented on the previous video. I got some awesome, helpful tips and a great name suggestion. Barrel Racing Queen 545 suggested naming my town after my favorite village in Star Stable, which I thought was a super cool idea. Brophytic DeLorean said that the difference between uh, these trees here and these are that the oak trees, these ones, do not reforest. So at some point we can build a reforestation station <laughs> and the, the fir trees will regrow, but the oak trees will not. That breaks my heart. I don't want them to go away, but I, I see there are plenty more. Uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and Gorin explained that the forbidden land tool, which I was, or, you know, zone, forbidden land, which I was not sure why I would ever use, it can help keep the little people to paths that you want them to stay on, which can be super helpful so they're not straying into weird areas and making sure they're okay, and that way you have a little bit of control over where the paths grow. Uh, I kind of like that they're going about it naturally now, but I understand the usage of that tool more than I did before. <laughs> village information. Let's rename our village. We are going to be Cape West Fishing Village. Yay! Love it. Okay, so we have our villager list, we have some builders, we have a forager, a woodcutter, stonecutter, oh, another forager, a market trader. That's right, we built a little market. Ah, they're so cute. They're selling berries there right now, but hopefully we will have bread and fish in the near future to sell as well. Oh, we need some more space for housing. And our task right now in the left-hand corner is to raise your villager's status to commoner and unlock a trade route to get tools. Tools are going to be very important and not super easy to collect. So let's take a look at our residential zone. I don't know, it feels pretty big to me, but what do I know? Um, I will spread it out for now, I guess. These things will just have to overlap. Will they build right on the water? Let's find out. We'll see what that does for them. I think one of the next things we're gonna want to work on is building a church. Uh, they are super sad and I think it's because they don't have a religious service to attend. Oh good, our new villagers have joined. Thomas and Elizabeth. I It kind of always lets you know oh, the splendor of your village unlocked a new tier of unlockables. Fabulous. It lets you know when there are little people coming to join your village, but they're coming from like way far away. It's like when they enter the map, so then it's a great long time for them to uh, actually get to your little village. So I'd much rather have a notice when they cross the border or something, or maybe it's so you can prepare for their arrival. I don't know, but it, it always seems like a long time. So I kind of forget about them until they get here. <laughs> Sorry, little people. I know we're kind of overlapping the place that we have to chop down trees. Um, I th we're just gonna have to compromise on space for now until we get a little bit bigger. So we could also set this as an extraction zone too. But I don't want it to get the oak trees. Please sir, not the oaks. I don't know why, they're just pretty. Because we are almost out of trees. Okay, so let's take a look at what it takes to build the church. The church is kind of cool because it's segmented and you can kind of design it how you want it to look. That's pretty cool. So you have the core structure, which you build, and then there's extensions, there's various doors, towers, and each little thing will give you a little bit more splendor. It's kind of... Uh, it's very small amounts of splendor. Right now, I think... As far as I know, that's the only way you can unlock Splendor for this category, is by decorating, building up the church. So it takes kind of a lot <laughs> to make a pretty impressive looking church with these little bits and pieces. Yeah. Oh, but we can unlock a wooden keep. Oh, we still can't do the, the fisherman's hut, but we can do a wooden keep. That's awesome. Um, okay, so our church... 
Maybe we'll build over here where there's a little bit more space. Uh, I don't know that I- okay. Oh, we can raise it as well! Uh-oh. No. We don't need- we don't need that right now. Okay. But that means it's gonna be a bit more... Oh no, we're gonna need planks. Okay, so before we build a church, I think we're going to need planks, which we don't have right now. So, we need to build a sawmill. 100 gold, that's quite a bit of gold. Are we building a sawmill? Oh, okay, we're building one and it's almost done. Fabulous. Then we'll start getting planks, which we could put towards the church. So we could get the church ready. Cool. Now we can pick where we want the door to be. Let's see, we have this door, just a plain wooden door, or a more exciting door. Should we do the more exciting door? I think so. Why is it so low? I don't really want it to be in the ground. I don't know if they'll clear that. I have no idea. I guess it's just gonna be in the ground for now. We shall see. We can also make that a little bit taller. That's pretty cool. I think that's probably a good start. So we've met all the requirements, has one core, one door, one bell tower to build, and it's going to give us five splendor to start. So that's pretty good. Let's, let's set it up then. Unlock trade route, yes. We are working on it. We need 20 planks and our sawmill is finished, hooray! So we need to make sure someone is uh, actually working. There. Assign available villager. Thomas has been assigned. We are also going to need a warehouse, which is part of trading. So that's something we want to make sure that we have soon here too. Let's stick it right there, see how that goes. They've got their little community of houses right here. I love it. It's like their own little neighborhood. How are our resources doing? Fairly well, our stonage is a little low. We made 16 gold by selling berries. That's pretty cool. All right, let's check on what's going with our stone guy. Let's, let's assign Elizabeth, newcomer Elizabeth, to be a stone cutter for now. Ah, it looks like here is where everyone is coming in this trail that's forming. So this is kind of the main entrance to our village. So it's cool that we're building the the town center is, is not far from here. The church is coming right along though. I just sincerely hope they can get inside. <laughs> I'm sure they can, but it, it might be a little tricky. Uh, we could build a reforester. We definitely, definitely annihilated a lot of these trees. Maybe we could work on some reforestation in that area. Do we have a little space here? A little bit. I could hide it in the back here. And then we will mark our reforestation area. We'll mark it there. We can also maybe add some trees over here if needed. I know we also marked it as residential, but I think they'll like having some trees in their area. And I think they'll cut down the trees if they need space, so that works too. So one of these two will be our market person and one will be our reforestation person. And our church is still coming along. We need to get trading unlocked here soon so we can start bringing some tools in. 20 planks, we have two. <laughs> I love the little chicken coop, that's adorable. Oh, they're standing inside each other. 
I have assigned an additional carpenter. So Thomas and Winona are both now trying to create planks because we so desperately need them. Uh, especially for unlocking trade here. Just because I've been building so many things. I probably should have done trade first. Maybe we could pause this. Oh, that's, we need that. That's the warehouse. <laughs> but maybe the reforestation station. We could pause that. Just for now. Okay, we did it. We reached the number of planks that we need to unlock the trade route. Hooray! Mission accomplished. Okay, so we have to build a warehouse, which we are currently doing. Assign tools to a warehouse. Allow tool purchase from the trading panel. So finally, I could show you the trading... Oh, that's not what I want. I want... To show you this this is the trading panel and the trick with this is that this number that's located here is actually how many items that you want to save in your village how, not how many that you are like requesting or want to trade so if we for instance were to put up berries in our in our trading system you know we would put um, sell all above the value so we would sell any that are over this number. So if we set it to 30, we would always keep 30 for ourselves and anything above 30, we would sell in the trading system. <laughs> so just make sure, you know, you understand how that's functioning. Buying is just that. We want to buy however many we put here as the number. So if we put 10, we're gonna buy 10 tools whenever possible. <laughs> And they hit those cost 10 each. Ooh. We might want to lower that. Because that's a lot of gold. 10 for one tool. But we have to finish building our warehouse first. But we can also sell something we have a lot of. Like we have a lot of berries. We're also working on planks. We might have some extra planks we could sell. And we have some extra people, Dominique and Sig Sigis Sigismund. Sigismund has joined the village. Oh, and our church is coming along. Except that front door. I've raised the priority for this, so I've set a higher priority for the warehouse because we really need that to finish. I think we're running low on stone. Do we need another stone cutter? Let's give it a try. Three out of five, so I guess they do need a lot of people there. And we can assign another woodcutter. Since we're getting a lot of people in, we can give them more things to do. Why is this person so sad? <gasps> what don't they have? A house. They need a house. So our next land purchase is free, but it will add on to our taxes. I don't know if we're ready to build a bridge yet, so I don't know that we want to click that one. But this area has a lot of stone. This one has stone and berries, but not a lot of land area. And our, our town is just growing so fast that we might want more land area. <gasps> My lord, we need to choose who we want to help. Deliver 30 berries in 60 days to the, the king, the clergy, or the people. And we'll get different rewards. I think the church is the hardest one to get, so we might want to do the church. Ooh. Or labor. We might just have to flip-flop and take turns who we want to help. I, maybe this time we should focus on labor. Let's help our people. Oh good, so our market is done. So we need to have, okay, deliver 30 food to, okay, but I think that needs to go in our market. It's the, the trick there. No, I, I don't wanna build that right now. Uh, but we do want tools, because we need to purchase tools. And here we want to do berries. Assign a person. Oh, and we've set up our first trade route. Hooray! 
Okay, so we've had some more people join, Lillian and William. Our church is almost complete. And we have some points up here, so we might want to spend them. For instance, the wooden keep we want to purchase. And we can now, oh no, we still need, but we have two splendor. This is two splendor. Oh, we are allowing you to establish an outpost on your territory. Thus, you will be able to participate in military campaigns for your liege. It's a privilege, don't forget about it. So they want us to build a wooden keep, which I think we wanted to do anyway, so we might want to accept that. There doesn't appear to be a time frame on it, like the, <laughs> the food one, so we might as well accept it. Maybe we need over to Splendor. Should we edit this? Oh, because this is one and a half, but if we build a tent, we'll definitely get some additional splendor. We have a sign. So we could do a blue tent. Which is a pretty. A green tent. I like it. It's very structured. Or a red tent. Hmm. I kind of like the green tent. Even though blue is my favorite color. The green is, is very concise. And our reforestation is done, so we can assign Lillian to plant some new trees. We're gonna need those very soon, I think. We have 20 berries. I think we need to hit 30 there. So our wooden keep, we can build that, which is also kind of like the church. You start with the core structure and add to it. And you get more splendor, it's fantastic. That's going to require a lot of resources. I don't know if we're ready to build that yet. They've got some weird paths going on in here. <laughs> I guess it's changing because they're building a new house. We have a few unemployed people, but soon they will also have tasks. I'm not worried. Oh no, it's down to 16. Let's have another forager. We'll get even more berries. I think it's because so many of them go to the market. <gasps> the church is complete! Oh, it's super cool. Oh, wow. Okay, we did something. Oh, we have a commoner. Four new buildings unlocked. We could do a farm field. Two new territories. And the church is done. So we just had an explosion of growth in one moment there. The, the door is still... <laughs> it's not really a door. <laughs> There's no door in. Let's see where... Oh! So they're just coming out the side of the building. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> All right, if it works for them, it works for me. So we should look at grabbing some new territory. We're going to need space. We're going to need more resources. Let's see, there's some berries here. I really want this island, it's so cool. We could go this way so that people reach our village sooner. When they enter the map, they have a long way to travel. I guess new people are coming. <laughs> Maybe we should do that because we're going to need space to build more houses. So we have some more space. Let's mark it up. Residential. I know they're not really going to like it, but I'm so sorry. We'll build a market over there because I think that makes them happy. That makes an area more desirable. Well, maybe we don't want to make that residential yet. But we could make this extraction and reforestation. We are going to need farm field as well. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. This will have to be farm. I know we don't actually have a farm yet, but I think we should be prepared. For that time when it comes. Oh, we have 23. We're so close to that 30 mark. Maybe we should assign another transporter. Then they can nab up those berries super quick. We don't have a priest. I do not know how to acquire a priest. <laughs> we have two out of 20 in attendance, which 
drives me cr no. It, it, it makes me curious because so many people were very demanding of a church and now they just don't attend. Hmm. Bell sound. <laughs> I can make the bell chime, okay. Cool. Oh no, it's still going though. Oh, we need some more people cutting down trees. <laughs> we're at the max, so we might have to build another one. Stick them over there. Oh, but we did also unlock new buildings. That's right. So we have a wheat farm, a windmill, bakery. We can start making bread. There's sheep farm to get wool, and then we can make clothing. Oh, that's super cool. And now we can also post a road sign <laughs> and a plant arch. Oh, that's cool. That's a hundred gold though. I don't know about that. So we have five religious splendor. No kingdom splendor. Still only two here. Oh, they're building the market now. 27, yes, we did it. We delivered 30 berries with 49 days left to go. Excellent. Phew, okay. Wow, so we have 14 labor points, but not enough splendor. Come on, build that, <laughs> build the tarp, please. So then we have to decide, do we want to work on a, on a farming next? That's gonna be 100 gold, 300 gold, 600 gold total. This is 50, 250, 300, that's much cheaper. Because we can trade and sell shirts. They seem to be doing okay with berries and soon we'll be able to get fish. So maybe we should make a sheep farm. Mm -hmm. We also don't have a stonemason hut yet, which is going to be important. So let's work on the stonemason hut then. Where's the... There we go. Two new people are joining. We're gonna have plenty of people here. Reforestation is not going as quickly as I hoped. Oh, yes. Okay, so our splendor built up. We can now buy the fisherman's hut and the Lord's Manor. We could do a hedge as well, but I don't think we really need it yet. So I'd rather save that for now. Oh, that's so cool. Fisher hut. Oh, excellent. Ooh. So I think this bit has to be over water. Maybe? That looks about right. No? I can't click, so maybe it goes the other way. No. Does the whole thing have to be in water? No, then it's there I'll drown. <laughs> Oh, oh, it works there. Okay, that's where it lives now. Good to, good to know. It's floating a little bit, but that's okay. They'll make it work, as we learned with the church. It looks like the trees are dancing. Lovely. Yep, go right in that wall. If it works for you, it works for me. So our next quest is going to be build a wooden keep. Oh, and there's a new path in to our village. Uh, the next uh, section that we accumulate is going to have to have some more resources, like another berry bush, I think, so that we can have more people collecting berries and stone. Also, we want to make our way towards iron. Oh, here we go. I think that's iron. Where are you going? Who's that? <gasps> a trader! Bye, buddy. Super cool. They come such a long way just to visit our town. Oh, so there's our market with the top on it. It looks very handsome. Oh, I think our church deserves some decorations. A decorative bush. Hmm. 
Lovely. I think it looks fabulous. We might have to build another well out here if we've got residential out there. Oh no, it's over here. All right, I think we are set up to accomplish many amazing things, but we're gonna call it quits for now. But thank you guys so much for all of your help in the last video. If you have more tips, suggestions, or questions, please leave them in the comments below. Give a thumbs up if you're enjoying the game and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye.